She'd always known it would come to this. She'd always known. It made perfect sense. Ha, in a nonsensical world, that is. This was her place, her world. Her, if you would, heart. This was where it had all begun, where it would finish. She hadn't moved for a long, long time. Hours, minutes, seconds. She was cold in her. His hoodie. But it was her cold, the cold of her water, her mountains, her gate to who knew where. The outside, the outside. Where she had fled to when she had outgrown this place, the place of her childhood, that childhood of quiet of never changing change, of ebbs and flows and sunrise and sets, of clouds and clouds and clouds and quiet. And so, as soon as she physically could, she had left this world, left her father, who had grown grey and old and bitter, suffering the loss of both the women in his life. He had found solace in the bottle and love, but ruination in his sobriety. The outside world, loud and brash and harder than her sea, her mountains, had taken what it wanted, taken its toll, taken her innocence, her trust, her virginity and her virtue, and given back. And so, she sat on her jetty, where Dad had used to moor his frail single sail cutter and ice his catch. She could still smell in her mind at least, the sour, bloody aroma of cod and haddock. But it was now long gone, as was he. And so she sat motionless, looking at the sea. No need to move, no need to feel. No need, well, no need at all for her.